So I just got my GCSE results and just got a heck load of stuff from the shops um, for college. So, and if you're the same, and oh, actually, yeah, if, if you're the same, like just about to buy stuff for college, then please wait and watch this video, give it a big thumbs up, and if you got any tips soon, then just leave a comment. So, yep, let's go. Specialized, actually, I'll start with this bag, what I got. It's like, look, can you see it? Yeah, it's kind of like a tote bag, a, yeah, a tote style bag, and I got this bag just because it's it's big, so it'll fit a lot of stuff in it, and also it's like, it's both, like, wide and, well, kind of wide and long, so, <laughs> so you, like, you can see everything you've got in here, and, uh, yeah, it's got three compartments, one at the front, and one, not one, like, one inside, in, like, a pocket, and, you know, I've used them for my, you know, like, student ID card, <laughs> or my wallet, or my phone, or something like that, and, um, yeah, that's pretty much all this about a bag, and plus, like, with a tote bag, it's kind of, like, it's kind of, not attached to you, but it's, like, it's close to you, so where you are, like, it, it, it can't really move that much at all, and, Especially with two star bags, like when you move, like it just like moves with you. It's like close to your body. <laughs> so, um, and I've had it before, like with mesh to type bags, and when I just like walk past a lamppost or something or a table, and just like smacks right into it. And you know, with college, like I'm gonna have some like pretty important stuff in there, so I don't want that happening to it. And plus, uh, I've already said that it's big, didn't I? Yeah, I don't want to ruin myself. And you know, that's pretty much the main reason. Uh, so. Yeah, let's just let's see what I've got in it. First thing I want to want to show is this folder. I really love this folder. It's it's really I think it's pretty amazing. Like, see how shiny it is. <laughs> and and you know, white's supposed to be poison. And black's supposed to be evil. Like, didn't didn't hear that in type or anything. Just like just bleeding into that. That's what told me. Um, and I use this for subjects which I which I didn't well I didn't really like too much. And they kind of like kind of have to pay. Not special attention to you, but you know you have to kind of focus on those subjects because whites, unless like your favorite color is the white, then you use a few favorite subjects. But whites, it like among like the colors that I've got here, like it stands out quite a lot. So you know it's yeah. So you use subjects like chemistry, biology, physics, you know science type subjects, environmental science, forensics, medical science, or you know, any other sorts of reason, you know, you don't really like too much. And the next thing I've got is, oh, yeah, I've got some work in here, I did some work over the summer. It's this blue one, and um, I'd use up subjects which are like, you know, it, it blue is supposed to be like a quite calm and neutral colour, quite relaxed colour. So maybe subjects like English language, English lit, um, RE, you know, subjects which you kind of already have an understanding of, so you don't really have to... Well, mm, yeah, well, if you know what I mean, then you know, you know what I mean, but, you know, you just have to, kind of, you're just sliding through the course and, you know, courses like that, and, this reason, actually, I'll, actually, no, wait, yeah, I'm doing it. <laughs> I'll talk about this folder next, and, <laughs> yeah, and this folder, it's kind of like, actually, I remember, I remember when I was quite young, I used to get to my work, mom's work all the time, and I used to have, oh, well, I used to see uh, these type folders like everywhere. So if you're doing stuff like IT, business studies, administration, computing, you know, kind of like officey type subjects. And then this one definitely is for you. I'll show these two now. It's like one is kind of like metallic grey, blue. If you need the exact colour, then please leave a comment. And the other one is quite bright and green. Bright green. And, you know, hmm, I think I'll definitely use the green one because. Because among like the colour scheme what I just showed you there, the green one definitely stands out. And you should get subject folders in which stands out and just associate them with each subject like as early as you can. And this this grey one would be my spare one. And maybe if I take like five A levels, I don't know though because like how many exams? And then hmm, I don't know. But you know, it's just a spare folder. Like if you don't need it, then you need to return it. But I've got spare one in case. In case you might need it, because sometimes some colleges do general studies as like as mandatory extra, so you, know, you might need it for that. And this grey one is quite quite neutral, quite bright and happy, and these are subjects which I'm quite looking forward to. So, 
I don't know, there could be like a whole, you know, a whole world of subjects what you're looking forward to. So yeah. Um, yeah, I think everyone would need folders. Like, I got quite, not generic stuff, but stuff, for me, just like that would be stuff for you. And I've got these two notebooks. One is just this new generic notebook with not very quality paper. Just I'll just use that just for um, rough notes and things like that. And I think it's it was 80 sheets in here, so, and the cost for our subjects that'd be like well just 20 per order. And I don't I don't know if they give you paper because at the induction day, um, they said oh have you got paper? And we were like well. No, so I don't know, that could be something to think about. And I've got this Oxford notebook. Yeah. And just just look at the just look at the paper quality. Look at the difference. And you know, at first of all I was like really against getting these Oxford notebooks, just because I thought they were gonna be really expensive and the reason I got this was because it was reduced. And this this one was quite was like a lot to even compared to this one. I couldn't really like buy this for Three, four, even five times over than like for regular price of the Oxford notebook, and you and I use the Oxford notebook for like for essays and homework and stuff, stuff that you really want to want to present things on. Because like this is actually the same people I used to use in school, and you know I'd never like dream of handing this rubbish paper in unless like I really have to. And plus, plus with this one, like you can just. You can buy it for free subjects, but I don't know. It's good to over prepare, but then again, how how overly can you over prepare? So I don't know. I, like it is, this one's like really cheap, so I can just like buy it on any. All the paper. What are you gonna write in it? And I've got some pencils, some highlighters, and some pens. Right, I think I think highlighters just like just to talk about them is the other one things where you can kind of overspend on. But then again, hmm, like well, just like the folders which I don't think I mentioned, um, the higher quality, the higher the price does not necessarily mean the higher the quality. But yeah, with pens and things like that, well, with pens especially, I I used to really buy expensive pens, but you know, the game quality was just. Really, just like not too good, cause you you just imagine like if you buying if you buying something, it's gonna last forever. It's gonna be perfect. We're gonna have to return it. We won't complain about it at all. But that really is not the case. I think it's like highlighters. I've yet to test these, and you know I'm just about to fill in my pencil case right now. So sorry. <laughs> yeah, but here's these. I'll I'll leave them. <laughs> but with these, like I actually saw some which were. In excess of five pounds, and you know, I would never buy any stationery for more than five pounds, just because. It, and plus, like those were like like mini ones too, and you know, I never would because they're not going to last too long. they like I'll just feel, like feel bad in myself, and just think you could save like how much on something else or something when, you, or save it for a time when you really need it. And next, these pencils. And I'm kind of like half annoyed at myself because. I didn't buy pencils which were like already pre-sharpened, but it doesn't matter too much. Like, I had to buy a sharpener and a rubber set too, so yeah. But you know, this this pencil at the end of the day, and um, yeah, that's pretty much it. It's it's just a pencil, and I don't think I'm using pencils too much anyway. And you really should not buy expensive pencils unless you take an art or something like that. And just because, just for the same fact, it's. Like this is break way too easy. I find this break way too easily, and yeah, there's there's pencils, pens again. Like nothing fancy at all about these. Like these were like super cheap. <laughs> you know, they're just pens at the end of the day. Like who really is gonna look at you the way you do, like you did in primary school or secondary school, where you had like the most expensive this little short ruler, which was a bit snugly in my clear pencil case. The reason I got a clear pencil case is was because like I'm take well A levels, you know, you can be like in and out of the exam hall. And you just don't wanna spend the time and effort just getting your big fancy expensive pencil case, putting out everything into here. And you know, I don't know, maybe I'm just used to it because in year year ten and eleven, you know, having your first set of real exams, you know, you just it's like this a pencil case. Other things you might need, like a calculator and, and a dictionary. Actually, oh, this school, old school, I want to give me this. Collins dictionary. Oh, it's all about Oxford. A super flex ruler. 
Yeah. For and a memory stick. Um, for the life of me, I actually cannot find the one I got. And it's it's pretty amazing. It's like what's this cute memory stick? Um, but for IT, especially like you you will need a memory stick. I've been told that. Um, and even when you're typing up notes, like just keep a memory stick, like just to back them up in case your computer like just breaks down. Um, or or you're going around a friend's house or something, just like yeah, just like have a memory stick. And trust me, it'll come in handy. I would not spend more than ten pounds on a memory stick. Just because, well, I think that's like the reasonable price for a 4 gig memory stick, and I don't know if you'll need any more than that. So I just showed you what pretty much most people need, and you know, here's what you really need. Number one, tic tac. You need tic. You really, you really need tic tac because sometimes maybe if you just waking up late or something, like did not have much time to brush your teeth, and then you know this is just great, just like just to. Uh, Mints are suppressing your breath in whatever. Actually, tic tacs are freaking addictive. So you know, it's just of chewing gum or something else. Sunglasses in case your eyes need in adjusting to the surroundings. Because you need know, you just wake up and you're, like, you're just out the door. So you know, they're pretty good too. Oh, and vouchers too. Actually, okay, maybe I have not got any with me. I didn't think I mentioned it earlier. And um, this bag is waterproof, so you know it can like withstand all weathers, and you might need an umbrella too. And um, but vouchers, like just because you know it's well, you know, words in itself, it's cheaper. Like vouchers to look out for are uh, buy one get all free in case you want to treat a friend or or you both out of pocket, and you know you can both put together, and it'll be even cheaper for the both of you. Um, and you know, get some get free coffee or get some in the half price on the breakfast menu because so you might actually go past the place, and you know I'm assuming like. If you didn't brush your teeth, then you didn't have anything to eat either. Then, so there you go. And stuff like oh yeah, loyalty cards too. Like you get put, like you get too many points, you get something free. Like these are always. That's pretty much all for me. And you know, if you've got any tips your own or anything you're gonna get or you know what what are you doing in September? Um, yeah, it's like leave a comment and subscribe. And that's it for me. Goodbye.